Have you ever found yourself caught in the snares of a toxic individual? Their negativity clinging to you like a venomous spider's web? It's an all too common experience, a trial by fire in the modern age. But what if I told you there's a way to navigate these treacherous relational waters with grace and resilience? The ancient Stoics, those masters of self-mastery, offer us a life raft in the form of their timeless wisdom. Stoicism, far from being an antiquated philosophy, provides practical tools for navigating the complexities of human relationships. It's a way of fortifying your mind against the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, particularly those flung by difficult people. Over the course of this exploration, we will delve into 11 effective strategies to help you not only cope with toxic individuals, but to thrive in spite of them. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Zen Sage Mind for more insightful content. The first step in mitigating any harmful force is accurate identification. We must learn to recognize the telltale signs of toxicity in others. Just as a skilled physician can diagnose an illness based on symptoms, so too can we learn to identify the markers of a toxic individual. Are they perpetually critical, finding fault in even the smallest of things? Do they drain your energy with their negativity, leaving you feeling emotionally depleted? Perhaps they are masters of manipulation, twisting your words and actions to suit their own agenda. These are but a few of the many red flags that should give you pause. Remember, recognizing these traits is not about judging the individual, but rather about protecting yourself from their harmful behavior. Imagine for a moment a medieval city, its towering walls holding back the chaos of the outside world. This, my friends, is the power of personal boundaries. They are the lines we draw in the sand, the limits we set to protect our physical, emotional and mental well-being. When dealing with toxic people, establishing and maintaining firm boundaries is not selfish, it is essential. These boundaries act as a shield, deflecting the negativity and manipulation that so often accompany such individuals. Learn to say no without guilt, to limit your exposure to their toxic behavior, and to prioritize your own well-being. Remember, you are the architect of your own life, and you have the right to create a space free from unnecessary harm. The words and actions of toxic people often stem from their own internal struggles, their own unresolved pain and insecurities. Like a wounded animal lashing out in fear, they project their own inner turmoil onto those around them. Understanding this can be incredibly freeing because it allows us to detach from the personal sting of their behavior. It is not about us, you see, but rather a reflection of their own internal state. This is not to say that we condone their actions, but rather that we choose not to carry the weight of their negativity. Like water off a duck's back, we let their poison roll right off us. Now you might be thinking compassion for these people, Yes, my friends, even in the face of toxicity, we can choose to communicate with compassion and understanding. This doesn't mean condoning their behavior, but rather approaching the situation with a calm and measured demeanor. When we respond with anger or defensiveness, we only add fuel to the fire. But when we communicate our needs and boundaries clearly and respectfully, we create the possibility for healthier interactions. Remember, even toxic individuals are capable of understanding and responding to reason. And who knows? Your example of compassionate communication might even plant the seed of positive change within them. Toxic people often thrive on drama, on creating and perpetuating problems. They are like energy vampires, sucking the life out of any room they enter. One of the most effective ways to counteract this is to adopt a solution-focused mindset. Instead of getting bogged down in the mire of their negativity, try to steer the conversation towards constructive solutions. This might not always be easy, and there will be times when the best solution is to simply disengage. But by focusing on what you control, your own actions and reactions, you reclaim your power and minimize their ability to drag you down. Imagine a warrior facing a fearsome dragon could they possibly hope to emerge victorious without first tending to their own wounds, sharpening their sword and donning their strongest armor? So it is with dealing with toxic people. Self-care is not selfish, it is an act of self-preservation. 
It is about replenishing your energy reserves, nurturing your mental and emotional well-being, and fortifying yourself for the challenges ahead. Engage in activities that bring you joy, surround yourself with positive influences, and make time for rest and relaxation. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. Toxic people are often the epicenter of gossip and drama, their lives a whirlwind of negativity and conflict. Like moths drawn to a flame, we can easily get caught up in their web of intrigue and manipulation. The key is to resist the temptation to engage, refuse to participate in gossip, and do your best to steer clear of situations where drama is likely to unfold. Remember, your time and energy are precious. Don't waste them on frivolous matters that only serve to drain you and add to the negativity in the world. We are not meant to face life's challenges alone. When dealing with toxic individuals, it is crucial to have a support system in place. This might include trusted friends, family members, a therapist, or even a support group. Talking about what you're going through can provide a much needed outlet for your emotions, offer fresh perspectives, and remind you that you are not alone in your struggles. Remember, vulnerability is not a weakness. It is a strength. It takes courage to reach out for help, and doing so can make all the difference in your ability to cope. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, certain people continue to exert a toxic influence on our lives. In these cases, it may be necessary to take a step back and limit our interactions with them. This might mean reducing contact, ending the relationship altogether, or finding ways to minimize your exposure to their negativity. This is not about being vindictive or holding a grudge. It is about prioritizing your own well-being. Remember, you have the right to create a life filled with positive, supportive relationships. As we strive to navigate the challenges of dealing with difficult people, it is essential to engage in regular self-reflection. Are we contributing to the negativity in any way? Are our own actions and reactions exacerbating the situation? Honest self-assessment can be difficult, but it is crucial for personal growth. By examining our own role in the dynamic, we can identify areas where we might need to make changes. Remember, becoming the best version of ourselves often requires us to confront our own shortcomings and strive for continuous improvement. The Stoics were not merely armchair philosophers. They developed practical exercises to help individuals cultivate resilience, manage their emotions, and navigate difficult situations. One such exercise is negative visualization, where you imagine the worst case scenario. This might seem counterintuitive, but by mentally preparing for potential setbacks, we can reduce their emotional impact and develop a plan of action. Another powerful practice is gratitude journaling. Taking time each day to reflect on the good in our lives can shift our perspective, increase our overall happiness, and help us to appreciate the positive relationships we do have. As we conclude our exploration of dealing with toxic people, remember that you have the power to choose how you respond to the challenges life throws your way. By implementing these 11 strategies, you can build resilience, protect your well-being, and cultivate healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more wisdom from Zen Sage Mind. And if you're interested in further exploring the power of Stoic philosophy, I encourage you to watch our next video on the principles of Stoicism and how to apply them in your daily life.